Firestoppers is a new initiative that Derbyshire Fire and Rescue Service are, uh, are proud to be part of. Um, it's uh, a charity linked to Crime Stoppers. So Crime Stoppers is anonymous reporting of crime. And Firestoppers is a, a prevention method, method for us, really, to get anonymous calling from parts of the community, people in the community, to tell us about potential fire setting. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean them actually setting fire to things, but uh, but actually a build up of waste or um, you know, things that we know that we can prevent uh, a 999 emergency call. Um, so first and foremost, it's an anonymous call reporting scheme. We can do that online, I can do that through your phone numbers. Um, we're putting a lot of our communications through our media channels, through our social media channels, Facebook, uh, Twitter accounts, um, just to get the message across to how people can be part of the um, part of the solution for us in terms of yeah, preventing fires. Why now? Why is this important now? Why is the need to bring this initiative to the fore? Uh, well, first and foremost, um, fire is disruptive, um, not only for communities, for the environment, but also for businesses as well. Um, so trying to prevent that um, at any time of the year is really important for us, whether it be fireworks night or um, bonfires right the way through to, to, to now when we've got um, just spring, summer, we've got very dry. We've had a dry couple of um, months. You know, within, within the district area, there are those spots. They are lovely spots that people want to keep using for, for their recreation. Um, what we don't want to see happen is that turn into a fire where it takes away our fire appliances to deal with those incidents, keeps it away from potentially dealing with road traffic collisions or house fires that may have been accidentally started. We're trying to make sure that we've got, um, well, we have got good prevention and protection teams that deal with the community and also the business sector, but we can, as our duty, provide and inform and instruct people how to safely manage their uh, their areas, whether that be within their homes or within their businesses, to prevent any fires in the future. And that's a really key point as well. You mentioned it a couple of times. It's it's prevention rather than reaction with this particular initiative. Yes, absolutely. So this isn't to remove from 999. If there's an emergency, you must call 999. Um, this is this is public's perception of what um, what actually happens uh, within the fire service and within the communities and the role that we can play. We'd rather be informing and instructing people that uh, they've put a build up of rubbish in their commercial yard, for example, that has a potential to cause fire and spread to another business um, and has that potential to um, cause damage, uh, a loss of, loss of business in at a time that's already very difficult for a lot of businesses. If we can prevent that and for our protection and prevention teams prior to responding on a, on a fire appliance and having to put out the fire, then that's, that's a win for us and it certainly will benefit our communities in keeping them safer. And doesn't take away from the resources as well, which are, are there isn't an endless stream of resources like any line of work. There, those resources have to go to the right places, and and if that could be prevented for for smaller fires or fires such as these, then that can only be a good thing. That's correct. Within the district, we have the um, appliances at Bolsover, Clown, and Shirebrick, which are on call retained um, firefighters. So they'll be doing a second job, uh, a primary job, and then they'll be mobilised into to respond to calls. Um, and, um, you know, we don't have um, fire engines on every street corner. We've got situated uh, fire appliances in the right positions, we believe. Um, but we need to use those carefully. We, they can't be abused. We can't be um, responding to fires that could be preventable uh, when we may have calls that are unpreventable, if you like. What we want to be able to do is make sure we, um, we can minimise the deliberate fires uh, and the preventable fires so that we're available for those those life uh, risk. We just need the information from the public to tell us that this is occurring. And, and again, it's all anonymous. Um, it's not for apportioning any blame. It's for us to, to prevent the fires um, from happening secondhand. How do people get involved and, and what are the methods that they can they can get involved? Well, we want you to uh, to do the anonymous reporting through the Fire Stoppers number. That's a national number. The information then is sanitised and it comes back to us with the information around uh, addresses, for example, of where we might be able to help people. Um, there's also an online reporting form. And then obviously you, you'll be, be able to pick up our messages through our social media channels now that we're linking to our incidents as well, where we clearly know that the incident could have been um, prevented. And just finally, what would your, your message be? Obviously, it's a new scheme. You're looking for people to get involved if they, if they see something that they think could be a, a danger. What would your message be? Uh, please don't hold back in reporting. Use the Fire Stoppers um, initiative. Use the scheme. Call the phone number that we're going to give you and the link on the, uh, the website. 
get in touch with us, uh, give as much information as you can, it is anonymous. Um, it will go not to uh, an enforcement, it will go into prevention and protection activities for us to, to prevent those fires from happening in the first place.